Hey, John Dorsey here. Today we're gonna to talk about how to promote your affiliate offers. Now there's countless ways. I mean, there's many, 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 many ways to promote your offer. But before we do that, it's important that you start off right. Now, I would say the best way to promote your affiliate offer is one is to build your email list and I've talked about other videos where you get traffic you send it to a lead capture page LCP all right you send that traffic to a lead capture page that gives away a free product you know a free offer Sends them to a thank you page that will get those people on your email list. All right. This thank you page could be a page that just tells people to go to the email to click the link, which will then send them to the free offer they opted in for and your lead, you know, your lead magnet. And your offer is more important than the product. And because this offer, you know, your free offer is what makes you, helps you stand out from the crowd. So everybody is pushing a certain product, you know, it could be a certain business, they're promoting, they're pushing all kinds of different things. And I would say 90, 90, 90 to 95% of people are basically doing the same thing. They grab an affiliate link, and they're slamming, hitting people over the head with the offer. I mean, with the with the product, with the service or the business. So, you know, after someone someone seen or heard a certain brand name so many times, promoted by all these different people, they already know what it is, right? So they have no interest in looking at it. But when you do it this way. You have unique you have unique positioning. You're positioning yourself to stand out from the crowd. Because when they see in this lead capture page, your lead capture page isn't promoting whatever the business product or service is. Your lead capture page is promoting your free offer. So people will opt in for your free offer. They don't know what you're selling on the back end. And if this free offer is good, this free offer right here. If this free offer is good, that builds up no like and trust. Now it might not be instant, but you're definitely better than people who are, who send people right to the sales page. And then you're building the email list, so you can follow up and send people back to your free offer initially to make sure they got it. And you can follow up and send them to the sales page. And then you got offer one, two, three, etc. <laughs> that you can also send people to getting yourself positioned like I know this is about uh, how to promote your offer but it's important that you position yourself right in the first place like I've talked about my other videos you know I, I have a trucking business I drop truck and when it comes to backing into a dock the most important part of backing into a dock well other than not hitting anything that's probably most important but I say the second most important to ensure you don't hit, it, make it harder to hit anything, and to make it easy on you, is the, the secret is in the setup. The secret is in getting into the right position. If you set yourself up right initially, it makes it easy to get into the dock. It makes it easier for you to uh, do your job. So if you position yourself with what I'm showing you right here on the screen. It'll make you easier to get these sales on the back end. And that's if you send enough traffic. Let's got dollar signs here. All right. So that's how you would position yourself. So now let's get into how do you promote the offer? I mean, how do you promote this setup? How do you promote your free offer so you can get potentially get sales on the back end? So let's get into that. All right. So how do you promote your offers? So there's tier one traffic. And that'll be stuff like traffic exchanges, safe lists, etc. 
follow ads, pay per click, uh, pay per view. So basically, tier one traffic is fast traffic. So this is traffic you can get within, let's say, the next 24 hours. You set up a campaign and pretty much have traffic coming in right away. So fast traffic doesn't necessarily mean always the best traffic. It's just fast. It's a way to get, it's a way to test your ads, a way to test your, your offer. If you get your offer to convert using these, uh, plat th these methods, then it's pretty much going to pervert, convert using tier two traffic. So tier, true, tier two traffic, and this isn't everything, but those are just a, so tier two traffic will be like influencer marketing, video marketing, blogging, uh, social media marketing. And this is a more higher quality traffic, but it's slower traffic. Now, now I know I said PPC in the first one, but I'm not talking about when I'm talking about social media market. I'm not talking about running ads on social media. I'm talking about posting on social media, building an audience on social media. And then you have tier three traffic, and that'll be email marketing, retargeting. Yeah. So this is traffic that. Pretty much, these are people who are mar who are already familiar with you, and it's the best. I'm not saying retargeting is the best traffic, but email marketing is some of your better traffic, like emailing your own list, because these are people who are on your list, they've been on your list, they've grown, grown to know, like, and trust you, and you can tap into this at any time. I can give you a example of tier one. I mean, yeah, tier one traffic, fast traffic. So something like uh, leads leap. So they got credit ads. So these ads, so these ads on the right, uh, tier one type traffic. So you click on this ad, you see the person's offer comes up and they've just gotten traffic to their offer. Now, while I'm here, I mean, I guess this is a lead capture page, but this is a good, another learn opportunity on Remember I talked about in the beginning, positioning yourself in the right way. Now, this is a lead capture page, which is good. So it says click here to download this special report now. You see, they want you to opt in. But the problem is this lead capture page is way too busy. Like as soon as someone sees all this text, they lose all interest. Now, if it was just free report, make your first sale online without picking up the phone, cold calling or selling, uh, selling your products online, and I say, instead of all this, let me show you how. Click the click here to download the special report. Now, that will be a good lead capture page. But you got all these bullet points, which is like a paragraph each. You got this big graphic. If it was just simple, where it just said, let me show you how. Click here to download this report. That would have been great. But, you know, I'm pretty sure that's the, the, the lead capture page that came with whatever that product is. You know, so this is a lead catcher page too, but it's still too much going on here. Lead, what you want is for it to be as simple as possible, where a person can make a decision within like five seconds, whether or not they want to put in their email address. As soon as they have to scroll down, they pretty much already, that's if they scroll down at all, but if they have to scroll down to see what this is all about, they probably won't put their name and stuff in here. Let's look at one more. Uh, so this is a little better. You know, let's get you got a one box for your email address. I wouldn't want to have this logo up here because that gives away what it is. So, like I talked about, you don't want people to know what you don't want people to know what the offer is. You want to build some curiosity. You know, it, if it was just this. Start earning money with AI. Watch this free training and get started today without being an expert. That will convert better than, oh, 
the branding up here. Okay, I already know what this is. I already looked at this, so I'm not interested. But if it was just this, no one knows exactly what is on the other side. Start earning money with AI, okay? Let me see what this is all about. But, yeah. So that's fast traffic. That's tier one traffic. And this is like a traffic exchange. Then, you, like I said, it's safe list. And if you know what a traffic exchange is, then you pretty much know what a safe list is, which is pretty much just like a traffic exchange, except it's via email. So instead of clicking ads to get credits, you click links and emails to get credits. And that's fast traffic. And solo ads. You know, there's a site, udemy.com. Buy solo ads, get quality advertising. And then there's another site I use called Wholesale. This is another solo ad site that I've used and gotten good results. Wholesale premium traffic, get more lead sales and property website with hyper target solo ads. So these are solo ads, <clears throat> another way to promote your site. Like I said, I'm putting links to all this below, all these below. Uh, you see it's not too bad you get 200 clicks for 58 dollars that's 29 cents a click so that's not bad at all that's the lowest package so that's solo ads now ten tier two traffic you got social media marketing and you can advertise on you can promote uh, you can post on a site like Pinterest and that's another way to get your message out there. All right, that's how you promote your product. And then you got tier three, which is email marketing, where you build your email list and you email your list. And you have uh, in, not in, retargeting. And that's using like Facebook marketing. Site like ad roll, you can see retargeting ads. And that's basically how you promote. Now I'll put links to different resources for traffic and promotion methods below this video. You know, I know that the the, 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 the subject is general. So this is how do we, how do I promote my affiliate offers? Well, like I said, there's this video could be hours long trying to go through every single way you could you can even do offline marketing for your online business you know you can give up business cards or do drop cards or post flyers to promote your online there's plenty of ways to promote your online business your affiliate marketing business so I just wanted to show you the different ways and then if you want to dig into one I'll put these different resources below for you to learn more about that so hope you got some value out of this video if you did, like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you again soon.